so we are here with our usual expert on international aerospace issues. Uh, so what is your opinion about the increasing cooperation between Team Tempest and Japan? Thank you, that's a really interesting insight. So back to the car, the air conditioning, sorry for the noise, but it's sweltering outside. A few days ago, the Japanese press has given news that the Japanese government is in talks with the British government to become an integral part of the Tempest program. The Japanese are already running their own sixth generation fighter program, and we have already covered it on this channel, as usual, links above and below. According to the Japanese, there are several synergies uh, ranging from the same specifications or very similar specifications, but there are also other technologies and uh, something that comes to my mind, for example, is the preliminary work that the Japanese have already done on small actuators and small thin engines. In the past few months, there have been already other agreements in this area between Japanese companies and uh, British or Italian companies. Rolls-Royce was expected to collaborate on the engine design and Italian Leonardo was working with Mitsubishi Electric on the main sensors of the aircraft. Actually, it seems that the Tempest radar, at least the prototype, is already working and I've heard uh, enthusiast reviews of the performance of that tool. We'll see what happens in the future. So from an industrial and a technology point of view, it definitely makes sense for Japan to cooperate with UK, Italy and Sweden. It probably makes less sense in terms of logistics. In fact, if the suppliers are going to be spread between Europe and Japan, well, definitely is not the shortest of the logistic chains. It is probably worth mentioning that now the American contribution will be limited to the interoperability with the American systems. In this round, apparently, it is Lockheed Martin that is going to be involved in the past. It was also Northrop Grumman that actually proposed to make a Japanese YF-23 that made a lot of American viewers so excited uh, about well, uh, what it is now an obsolete design and obsolete concept. I never understood this. And if you allow me a few words about my home country, there is already an agreement between the British and Italian government to be part of the Tempest, but in Italy I've seen quite a lot of heavy and important stakeholders commenting that the CAS and the Tempest should merge, which I think is stupid because the CAS is almost dead by now, the French will go on by themselves. M7 went on for 3 minutes and 23 seconds with very politically incorrect statements about the Italian and the German governments that I removed from the production cut. I was on holiday. Anyway, I believe that this enlargement of the team that is working around the Tempest with Japan is uh, really an interesting development and uh, so we'll see what's going to happen as usual, we'll keep an eye on it. Bye!